Hey there folks, look up to the skies. Because today, we're embarking on an exciting journey into the realm of drone propulsion systems. We're talking everything from cycle rotors to jet engines and even artificial wings. It's like Leonardo da Vinci's wildest dreams come true after 500 years. So without wasting any more time, let's take a closer look at these remarkable drones and the incredible ways they move through the skies. Aerial Screw Alright, let's break this down. First, they cooked up this funky design in a simulation. And guess what? It produced some seriously cool vortexes. Fast forward a few months, and the genius minds over at the University of Maryland managed to build a drone based on this design. Now if they fine-tune it just right, this drone can do some magic. Less noise, potentially quieter than your run-of-the-mill propeller. But hold on, there's a catch. It's a bit of a brain twister, a complex design that doesn't exactly score big in the lift efficiency department. So, no, it's not kicking propellers to the curb anytime soon. Still, the fact that we're witnessing something like the aerial screw actually working for drones is mind-blowing. Now let's talk about the Marine Sherrill propeller. It's the source of some fresh ideas. At first, it promised faster planning and more efficiency at a specific RPM. Then MIT jumped on the bandwagon and brought this concept to the multi-rotors. And guess what? It brought some cool upgrades to the table, like fewer annoying noise spikes at certain frequencies. But of course, the debate rages on about whether this propeller design truly boosts performance. The kicker is that you have to fine-tune it for every multi-rotor out there, and some argue it won't make a world-changing difference since you can already customize a propeller with three or four blades for different flight styles. In the grand scheme of things, I'm thinking the Toroi Top is a bit of a niche player and won't be setting any records in the near future. But hey, who knows what the future holds? Cyclo Rotor Let's take a little detour and explore a different breed of propulsion system, the Cycle Rotor. Think of it like a paddle boat cruising through water, but instead of water, it's exhilarating fluid with a spinning mechanism that goes perpendicular. The orbital dance, combined with pitch angle, cranks out some pretty solid thrust. Plus, individual blades can pitch in for rapid thrust control. Now here's the catch, complexity. The cycle rotor setup can be a bit heavy on the wallet and the scales. But hold up, there's a silver lining. You see, cycle rotors are the superheroes of hybrid applications. Take the Austria for example. Unlike your typical multi-rotor, which has to tilt to change its horizontal position, the Astria just pops a cycle rotor on top and doesn't tilt at all. This makes it perfect for specialized tasks like inspections or remote equipment work. So in a nutshell, don't expect cycle motors to kick propellers to the curb anytime soon. But they've got a special spot in the world of hybrid applications, especially where stability is key. Jet Propulsion Here's where things get wild. Imagine strapping a jet engine onto a multi-rotor. You see, many electric vehicle startups have flirted with this concept simply because of the insane performance gains it can offer. But let's face the reality check. Jet drones are as rare as winning the lottery, mainly because of the astronomical costs involved. Take the jockpot, for instance. It can blitz through the skies at over 300 miles per hour, carrying a hefty 40-pound payload. Sounds awesome, right? Well, here's the kicker. It comes with a jaw-dropping price tag of around $250,000. Ouch! You might be wondering if we'll ever see more affordable models hit the market. But to be honest, it's a bit of a guessing game. It all boils down to innovation and advancements in fabrication techniques. 
until we have multi-material 3D printers churning out jet engines, it wouldn't hold my breath for jet drones becoming commonplace. But here's the deal. Jet engines pack one of the mightiest thrust ratios in the game. So there's always going to be a high-end market for these bad boys, especially when it comes to manned aerial vehicles. Ion Propulsion Now brace yourselves for one of the quirkiest contenders in the drone propulsion game. Ion Propulsion Get this! Electrohydrodynamic thrusters create a wild plasma of ionized air with a powerful electric field. These ions get irresistibly drawn to a negatively charged grid. They collide with some neutral molecules and BAM! You've got yourself some momentum magic happening. Here's a kicker though, when they downsize these EHD thrusters to a tiny 2 square centimeters, something strange happened. They actually kicked out better thrust to weight ratios. Sounds cool, right? You'd think it's a perfect fit for micro aerial vehicles. But there's always a but, it never took off, so to speak. Why, you ask? Well. Because trying to jam a high-voltage power supply on board is like trying to fit an elephant through a keyhole. Don't get us wrong, ion propulsion is a head-turner. It's got that wow factor because there are no moving parts. But, and it's a big but, wrangling an onboard power supply for these types of drones is like trying to teach a fish to juggle. Extremely tricky business. And just to add a cherry on top, these drones aren't exactly known for their acrobatic maneuvers either. Micro Aerial Project Now let's talk about the basic winged robots. They're a bit sluggish and don't quite match up to your typical drone in terms of performance. But fear not, my friends, because the newer micro aerial vehicles have cracked the code. Finding clever ways to sidestep limitations of your run-of-the-mill motor and gear setups. There are a few tricks up their sleeves, but the real showstopper here is none other than the Liquid Amplified Zipping Actuator, or LAZA for short. Get this, LAZA relies on electrodes in a liquid dielectric to potentially pull off some mind-bogglingly fast cycles. It's like a high-voltage dance party happening right at the wing root, creating some controlled flapping action. And here's the kicker, it's a backup system on steroids, making it the perfect fit for micro-aerial vehicles. But let's keep it real, folks. LAZA might be an amazing invention, but it's not quite ready to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big drones out there. Still, it's a step in the right direction for the world of winged robotics. So in a nutshell, there's a whole world of alternatives to your run-of-the-mill propeller with stars like the Aerial Screw and the Toroido Pop taking the stage. But remember, these designs are like precision instruments. They've gotta be a perfect fit for a very specific multi-rotor. Then there are those cycle motors, a bit more on the advanced side, but they're the secret sauce for hybrid stabilization. And of course, ion propulsion, with all its potential, but it's got a craving for that high voltage power supply. Let's not forget the flapping wind concept, possibly using a liquid dielectric and perfect for those nimble micro aerial vehicles. Now those other projects might boast the highest thrust to weight ratios, but they come with a hefty price tag and a reliance on future fabrication methods. As for the future, micro aerial vehicles might just surprise us with a fresh setup. But for your everyday consumer drone, propellers are here to stay for the long haul. Can't wait to see what unfolds. Now we wanna hear your thoughts. We delve into some fascinating propulsion techniques in this video and we're eager to know what you think. Drop your thoughts in the comments section below. If you had a blast watching this video, show us some love by hitting that like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more mind-blowing and informative content. See you in the next adventure!